Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I'm Mr. Viperfang, and last time, we harvested some Poe souls and got a few pieces of heart. Also, uh, we brought some uh, enthusiasm and motivation back to a certain Goron. Oh crap, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> uh, wow, okay. <coughs> Yeah, we uh, brought some motivation back to that Goron. Anyway, today we're gonna head into Telma's bar before I s <laughs> before I sneeze again. All right, so let's actually read the note that we got from Telma. Also, I've got some other stuff that I hadn't read yet. They came so quickly. Link, there are some folks I want you to meet, so come to my bar right away. These guys will be powerful allies for you. You heard me, come by. I'll be waiting at the Castle Town Bar. And now open for business. Uh, Isa and Henna's gr playground for grown-ups. Uh, rapids rides and fishing hole. These are basically, uh, it's just basically telling us that there's stuff to do at Zora's River. We're gonna be taking care of this later. In the meantime, uh, let's go on ahead and take care of the then and now of uh, Telma. Oh. oh my, if it isn't Link. You made it. How have you been, honey? Mercy, but you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey. Hey, everyone. Introduce yourselves. This handsome young man is the infamous Link. remember what I told you before, honey. These are those friends I mentioned, the ones who are trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. Actually, there's one more of us, but there's been a disturbing turn of events in the eastern desert, so he's gone to check it out. He's an older man named Aru. If you happen to meet him, definitely take the time to talk with him, okay, honey? Well, you've come all the way here, so honey, so why don't you relax a bit? Why don't you be sociable and talk to those folks? They're a jolly bunch. Uh, yeah, let's go on ahead and introduce ourselves. This guy, uh, criticized us when we were a wolf, so I don't really think highly of him, so we'll save him for a second. This young lady, on the other hand, looks kind of tough. It's Ashe. I grew up in the mountains with my father, who was a knight in his own right. He taught me the arts of war as though I was his son. Of course, lessons in common courtesy were not part of the regiment, so forgive me if I come off as rude, yeah? Listen, before I blab off... Lap of furious off, I want to tell you something. Snow Peak, the mountain to the north of Hyrule. It's unlike any mountain I've ever known. I don't know much yet, but things happen there that happen on no other mountain I know of. Evil controls it. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, you should stay away, yeah? Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Alright, you. Hey. Oh, hello there. You must be Link, correct? I'm Shad. Wonderful to meet you. Telma told me... All you've been up to. You're rather formidable. I'm rather not, I'm afraid. Well, I'm formidable at book reading, but I lack, shall we say, fiscal skills. That said, if the history and legends of Hyrule are your cup of tea, I'm your fellow. If you're curious, just ask away. Alright, so tell me how you really feel about me. And you. You look kind of familiar. <laughs> it has been a long time. Link. My wife, Uli, sent word of me. I have seen the children in Kakarika Village, and, of course, I also heard of your adventures. I must thank you for your help with Colin Link. I barely recognized him. In any case, I'm troubled by my own inaction. I want to help the cause. These friends here? I've had a connection with them for a long while. Like the others, I'm gathering information now. I will let you know if I hear anything. Alright, so... One of our fellow villagers is actually... Pretty... Entangled with uh, the goings-on of uh, this underground resistance and everything going on in Hyrule, so... Yay! We've got connections! Alright, uh... Oh! Postman is here! What the order? What the order? I do believe I will start with meat! Uh, y yeah, y y you just keep doing that, friend. Oh, here's the uh, kitty that helped us earlier. Aww... You're so sweet. How's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that shaman will find a way to get her memory back. That Renato is a talented man for sure. Anyway, honey, you've got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure to do, you do what needs doing right now, okay? 
Listen, honey, if you're puzzled about what you ought to be doing, why don't you go see our friend Aru? There's a man who knows things. He's out checking out the eastern desert of Hyrule. If you need detailed directions, to take a peek at that map on the table. Oh. Oh, yeah, I just, I didn't notice it. Okay. I actually want to look at the map. There we go. Alright, so... That old Kaja Aru's at Lake Hylia, studying the desert. I kind of did Telma and the geek. All right, so he's right here. So why don't we pay a visit to Lake Hylia then? And the fastest way I know to get there is via teleport. So let's get out of here so that nobody sees us turn into a wolf to get the hell out. All right, should be able to warp safely here. No windows in on the front door of the bar, so this should be easy. All right, travel to Lake Hylia, woohoo! All right, quick change. That's always nice. We can actually get up here now that we're no longer uh, tied to being a wolf. There's also a soundstone up here, so let's go on ahead and see what that's about. We're gonna be able to unlock our fifth ability. So let's go on ahead and listen to the sound and howl. Ooh, this one's a little complicated. Nope, that wasn't it. Well, that kind of helped us. Uh, I think I've got it now. There we go. I was getting some of the notes mixed up. Yeah, I think the tunes get a little more complicated at this point, so... Until I get the last one unlocked, they're gonna be kinda harder to determine. Ooh, that's a neat looking structure in the background. And we're actually gonna be able to go there later. That's actually our next destination after Lake Kylia but the place we need to get to is uh, kind of walled off from the rest of Hyrule. It's actually gonna, it's gonna be along the way to the next dungeon. I just realized this next sword skill. So we're gonna have five by the time we're entering the next dungeon. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. And blah de blah de blah we've got our next location unlocked. Oh, yeah. It's uh, all the way here in probably Gerudo Desert, so yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's a nice little counter for Poe Souls. Okay. I don't think this was in the original... Rel I don't think this was in the Wii version. So that's a nice little change. Although I could be very wrong, it's been a while since I played the Wii version. Oh, there's also a uh, boulder here. And a box in the water. Oh, it's a fairy. Uh, gonna catch it. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna take it with me and I'm gonna go on ahead and just blow something up. Uh, boom. Let's go in here real quick. I think there's something good in here. Ooh, it's a winding path. I think I'm gonna need my lantern. Although light here seems pretty fine. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go on ahead and save the rest of my arrows. 
I'm gonna do an unused uh, thing of water bombs instead. Because they act, they just work like regular bombs. That leads to a different path. That leads to a bunch of bats and a treasure chests. Hey, a rupee. All right, and what's over this way? Uh, another chest. Cool. Hey, I got some bombs. I can. I need. I need some arrows though. So we'll just keep going and see how far I can make it through this winding maze of a cave. Oh, oh, that's a yellow chew, and it's basically lantern oil. I'm gonna go on ahead and use the fairy now, so I actually have something to hold some lantern oil in. I need to get some more bottles at some point. It was two? Alright, whatever. I'll do that. And I have another one to, uh... Do that with. I just stick stuck my lantern in an unknown substance that works like lantern oil. That... That probably would have gone very well. Alright, setting some more bombs and blowing some more stuff up. God, I really hope I can find some arrows in here. Ah, I found rupees. Maybe in the grass right there? Hey, a red rupee! No, oh, dang it. Oh well. Oh, uh, we got some fiery boys here. Oh, and I think I see a Poe. Ow, that burns. I just stabbed the air and I killed it. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go on ahead and change into a wolf for this one. Woohoo! No, you don't. Yeah, a postal. Another one. All right, we don't need to be a wolf for now. I, if I remember correctly, there's one more Poe in here. If this is the dungeon, if this is the area I'm thinking of. Uh, that's another path, and oh, oh my God! Thank you. I've got arrows again. All right, so this is the only path I can go down. Oh, and it's a little more uh, dangerous because there's uh, some there's some bridges we have to cross, and I assume bottomless pits. Oh God, it's a Beemos. That's why they gave me the arrows. Uh, hold on a second. I'm, I'm messing with the menu at the moment. Oh, right. I have to pause to combine. I forgot. There we go. All right. Oh, wow. It still got me, but I succeeded. Whatever. Plant a bomb. Plant a bomb. And just let them blow up on their own. Alright, that's the path forward. And here's some, uh, skulls. That have rupees. Alright, another red rupee. Uh, at least I'm getting money from all this. I assume there's a piece of heart at the end of this little road. Uh, oh, we've got, a uh, two. Come on, get closer. There we go. Hey, look at that. It's a... It's a chest. Probably a purple rupee or... Since it's special, I would think that it's a... More grandiose reward than a purple rupee. I would like there to be a piece of heart, but I don't know. Oh, it's a stamp. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, 
Let's plant some bombs and see what's uh, beyond here. Ah, looks like a path forward, so... Oh, hi! I did not expect that to happen. Some friggin' red tektites. And speaking of red things, it's a rupee! Alright, no arrows. I was kind of hoping, but... Oh, well. Oh, wow, this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Come on, blow, blow smoke at me. There we go. I've got no use for these water bombs, so I think I'm just gonna keep using them until I run out. That way I have another bomb back to put regular bombs in. Oh, is this a checkpoint in case I need to get the hell out? Dodge for whatever reason? I mean, I've got plenty of supplies still. I hope the, I hope it isn't too much further. Oh, good. Oh, that's kind of awesome. It gave me some more bombs. I, I welcome the bombs. Oh, and we've got another Bemos. Well, switch. Gotcha. Now I can safely enter. Oh, we've got some things behind here. All right, that's a bomb bag free. I hear keyses, so. Oh my God, it's a lot of keyses. Keys, Kess. I honestly don't know how to pronounce. Oh, thank you. I appreciate. There we go. I don't know if those bombs can blow up before you're ready. If you're uh, getting an arrow ready. I've never really experimented with it. Hey, we're finally getting up to some higher rupees, so we gotta be close to the end, judging by what the map looks like. I did not expect to actually do this this episode, but here we are. Expect the unexpected, especially when you're Let's Playing. Ooh, another postal. Oh, hi. Some more fire slugs. Also, watch out for the, uh... Lovely. Am I back at the entrance? Ah. Uh, all right, be right back. Fun fact, the enemies respawned. At least the fire slugs did. Hey look, the red tactites respawned too. At least some of them are dropping rupees. Oh good, the Beemos are back too. Uh, I'm just gonna go. All right, let's hope I don't accidentally fall down again. Get rid of these keys. God, I love that I can rotate the camera freely in the HD version. That is something I honestly did not like about the original release that I'm glad that they added. All right, it's another Poe, and I, I was correct about there being another Poe soul in here. All right, let's finish you off. Postal. That brings my count up to 11 out of uh, the 20 that I'm gonna be actively going for. All right, some more tech types. Take them out. And looks like I'm actually at the end of my journey? Mm, maybe? Uh, there's a path I haven't gone down yet. There we go. Uh, let's get this treasure chest open. I think it's a red rupee or more supply... Bomblings! Well, uh... I guess if the game's gonna give them to me, I might as well show them off. This is gonna be a first for me, too. Oh, it just... Okay, these are better than bomb chews! I don't know why I didn't use them until now. Cool. Oh, and they explode when they hit walls. Cool. All right. Oh, hey, another, uh, another two of those. Good way to refill my lantern. Just keep it topped off. All right. 
Hey, I got seeds for my slingshot I'm never gonna use again. I won't have to end the let's play with uh, less than full seeds. Ow! I forgot about the explosion on contact thing. All right, looks like the end is over that way. Got a, oh my God, another set of bats. All right, another red, another purple rupee or, oh, it's a treasure chest stamp. Okay, well, two stamps that are never gonna get used are out of the way. Oh my God, please, okay. Oh God. No, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay. Move straight ahead. Okay, I'm all turned around. Thought I was gonna fall off of there for a second. Okay. One more, you can do this. And we got a chance to the third postal, cool. You are not gonna slash that scythe at me, you damn po. Give me your soul. All right, so this is probably the most uh, fruitful cave I've been in yet. Three postals and potentially another stamp or a piece of heart at the end of it. If it's another stamp, it goes with the two stamps that we just got. And if it's a piece of heart, I will be super happy. Oh, I'm super happy. That makes everything worth it. And we got a full refill on health, so let's get the hell out of here. I also like how we looped uh, underneath the, the path we came in originally. All right. I'm not going to end the episode yet because I still need to do the thing that I plan to do for this episode and talk to this guy. Also, I don't want to jump into the water. Also, believe it or not, there's two more, two or three more Poes in this area. There's one on top of that giant rock structure, uh, giant rock formation. And I think there's one near the waterfall. There might be one over here, but that's only gonna happen at night. So let's uh, climb. Amazed that I have to climb all the way up here. I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Master Link, is it? Do you know, you know, you, bleh, you do know Telma, don't you? I am Aru. Aru. How the hell do you pronounce? Anyway, I'm a part of a group that Telma kindly allows to meet at her bar. I've heard all about your deeds from her. Now, you being a courageous youth, you've likely heard of the strange events in the desert and come to investigate, no? Or am I mistaken? You do know, don't you, Master Link? The Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in the prison. Now that the prison is condemned and even the road leading to the desert imp is impassable. This desert at world's end, it still holds the cursed mirror and the malice of the doomed inmates. These old bones know that the evil currently plaguing Hyrule is related to this wicked place, so I have come to learn the truth. Master Link, I must ask, what will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicions with your own eyes. Yeah, sure, why not? Ah, is that so? Then let good old Aru help you out. You see, Lake Hylia below us? A man named Fire runs an amusement ride of sorts there. Give him this. We got Aru's memo! Aru wrote this to Fire of Lake Hylia. Set it to a button and show him to it. Show it to him. See, long ago, I saved this man Fire's life, and now he cannot refuse me if I ask a favor. If you leave, if you leave the rest up to Fire, all should go well. Okay, cool. So, uh... Oh, I wanted to jump off. You know what? Fine, I'll just do that. Okay, it was too long for us to roll. All right. Uh, I'm pretty much done now, so... Yeah. Thanks to the little, uh spelunking that we did in the cave earlier that kind of ate up a lot of the time that I wanted to use so we're basically done let me kill this Poe and end things off 
Hello, Poe. Show yourself. There we go. Bear your soul to me! So I can rip it from your cold, cold ghost body. Alright, we're done. So next time, we're gonna go on ahead and see what's in Gerudo Desert. And maybe get some pose if I feel like it, but we're gonna be heading into the desert to try to find this prison. Later.